Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. Our title today is Traffic Safety. Let's move on to language focus. Ilbon. There is also a sticker for older drivers, which is optional for people aged 70 through 74 and mandatory thereafter. So today we're going to focus on thereafter for our number one. Use thereafter to indicate that something happens after a certain age event or point in time so something that happens after a certain age an event or point in time so the best way to explain it simply thereafter is like whatever that could the Certain age, event, or point in time, hue. Right, so basically, after. It's quite a formal expression, um, said also verbally as well as written. But let me give you the examples here. So I lived in San Diego until 2008 and in Seoul thereafter. So, nanan. 2008년까지 샌디에이고에서 살았고 그 이후로는 서울에서 살았다. Okay. Now, if you you're probably used to people saying I lived in San Diego until 2008 and after Seoul, which is okay as well. But you for using thereafter, it's very common to use it at the end of a sentence. So as we see here, and up here as well, it's at the end of the sentence. So I lived in San Diego until 2008 and in Seoul thereafter. We could even extend it. I lived in San Diego until 2008 and in Seoul uh, from 2009 to 2010 and in Daegu thereafter. Our next example says, the new device will be launched next February, so you can buy one anytime thereafter. So the new device will be launched next February. So 새로운 기기는 내년 2월에 출시될 예정이므로 so you can buy one anytime after thereafter. 그 후에는 언제든지 구입할 수 있습니다. You can also change it to the new device will be launched next February, which after you can buy it online or buy it anytime. So moving on to number two, 이번. People think that other drivers will be more aggressive towards a beginner, not less. So, ibon, not less. So, use more, not less. Sorry, should have highlighted that. So, more and not less. Use more and not less to express that effort to prevent something has the Opposite effect. That's a little bit difficult to understand right now, maybe for some people. Let me give you the um, example. All right. So people think that other drivers will be more aggressive. So what does aggressive mean? More angry, more uh, forceful. Um, showing strong emotion towards something, but in sort of a negative way. So if we look here, people think that other drivers will be more aggressive towards um, 
beginners, towards a beginner, beginner driver. So, 사람들은 다른 운전자들이 초보자에게 더 공격적일 것이라고 생각한다. People think that other drivers will be more aggressive towards a beginner. Okay? So, 사람들은 다른 운전자들이 초보자들에게 덜 하지 않고 더 공격적일 것이라고 생각한다. So, some people, when they see a beginner driver, some kind people will give, will yield, will give way. Young boy has to say, oh, 근데, many rude drivers will probably not uh, be so nice. In fact, they will probably be more aggressive. So they would be more aggressive, not less. So when we use uh, this expression, usually we use a verb. So it can be a be verb or it can be an action verb. More and then an adjective, 형용사. Tiv. So, in this example, more aggressive uh, will be, be more aggressive, uh, be more um, kind, not less. And then later on, you would add not less. Let's have a look at another example. If you tell children they can't do something, they usually become more interested in doing that thing, not less. 만약에 여러분이 아들에게 그들이 뭔가를 할수 없다고 말한다면 그들은 보통 그것을 하는 것에 더 관심을 갖게 되는 것이지 덜 관심을 갖는 것이 아니다. So if you tell your child, don't do that, 하지마, 하지마라고 한다면 아마 그 아들은 더 하고 싶어요. 덜 하고 싶지 않은데 덜, 더 하고 싶어요. Or skipping meals can actually cause people to gain more weight, not less. 식사를 거르는 것은 실제로 사람들이 덜 살찌는 것이 아니라 더 많이 찌게 할수 있다. I think it's because you end up eating more at lunch rather than less. So yes, you can gain uh, 동사 more weight. I guess yes, it could be an adjective or a noun. 명사 Gain more weight, not less. All right, now let's move on to the language focus quiz. 일본. I lived in hmm until hmm and in hmm thereafter. Remember, ku ihue or ku hue. So let's talk about me. I lived in. Uh, Brisbane until uh, I was 25 and in Seoul let's just say South Korea because I've been here and there thereafter so Nanan Sumutasasarkaji Brisbaneso Saratko Ku Ihuronan Hangugeso Sarasoyo Ibon. I hmm often before but never thereafter. This one's difficult. Maybe I drank a lot of 
alcohol often before let's say before 19 but never thereafter in Australia the legal drinking age is 18 so your alps uh 잘 이전에는 술을 자주 마셨지만 그 이후로는 한 번도 마시지 않았다. Mm, sometimes I drink, not much these days. 3번 hmm, made me want to hmm, more but not less. More but not less. So, example, the medicine. The medicine made me want to, let's say, let's say it's bad medicine. Vomit more, not less. 그 약을 먹었더니 더 토하고 싶어졌어요. 덜, like, this medicine, 이 약은, it's supposed to stop vomiting. 근데, 더, 더 하고 싶었어요. 덜 하고 싶지 않은데, 더 하고, 더 하고 싶었어요. 4번. Hmm, makes hmm, more difficult. Money makes life more difficult. So, 돈은 삶을 덜 사는 것이 아니라 더 어렵게 만든다. Alright, now let's move on to the further discussion. 1번 If a person stops driving for several years and then starts again, do you think they should consider, be considered a novice driver? Why or why not? 만약에 어떤 사람은 몇년 동안 운전을 중단해 다가 다시 시작한다면 그 사람은 그들이 초보 운전자로 여겨져야 한다고 생각하나요? 왜 그럴까요? 혹은 왜 그렇지 않은가요? That make that's a very good point. Um, because I have also stopped driving for a year at one point uh, when I moved to Korea because. I didn't have a Korean driver's license. And when I started driving again, it felt a bit different. Um, I did feel like some of my skill was uh, lacking when it came to driving. Maybe not a beginner driver, maybe somewhat of like a returning driver. It just depends on the situation. Some people stop driving because they've been in a very bad situation. They've been in car crashes. They've been in um, very traumatic experiences. So therefore, when they start driving again, it might affect their driving skill. Um, some people just can't afford to have a car. It would just depend on the situation. Yvonne. Do you think that it is good to have stickers for the elderly and disabled drivers? In a nutshell, yes. Um, for elderly people, at least, depending on the disability of the person, but for the elderly who maybe have a slower reaction, it just helps the drivers around them. And therefore it makes safer roads if we can at least be aware of who is driving in that car. All right, that wraps it up for today, and we'll see you in the next class. Standardized. Standardized. Mandatory. Mandatory. Cut off. Cut off. Alongside. Alongside. Driver's ed. Driver's ed. Mess with. Mess with.